Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Bootloader Spoofer LS Exposed module. This module is designed to bypass hardware integrity local attestations, which are used by some apps to check if your bootloader is unlocked. What is hardware integrity local attestation? Hardware integrity local attestation is a security feature that allows apps to verify that your bootloader is locked. This is important because an unlocked bootloader can make it easier to install custom ROMs and other modifications to your phone. Now you will need one application and Tamagisk modules. All download links are given in description. How does the bootloader spoofer LS exposed module work? The Bootloader Spoofer LS Exposed module works by modifying the certificate extension that is sent to apps. When they check for hardware integrity local attestation, this makes the app think that your bootloader is locked, even if it is unlocked. After downloading all the applications, install the bootloader, spoof application, and key attestation application. After that, open the Magisk and go to the installation section and flash the Universal Safety and LS Exposed module. In order to work the Bootloader Spoofer LS Exposed module, you will need to have Exposed Installer installed on your phone. Now, after installation, restart your device. After installation, you can see all the modules are now properly installed. Now, here is the sad part for all OnePlus users. Because of some certificate issues in the OnePlus phones, you can't use this module to spoof your bootloader. It gives the following error. No matter what you do, you can't use this module to spoof your phone's bootloader. Now let me show you on my Google Pixel 6 how it actually works. As you can see, I have already installed this module on my Pixel 6. Bootloader Spoofer LS Exposed module will be active and you will be able to use apps that require a locked bootloader, even if your bootloader is actually unlocked. You can see at the top it is showing that my bootloader is locked. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below.